Hello, welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you, guys. Thank you. I am Mystical Mermaid. Folks call me Eminem. Ouch. All right. This is for Gemini. For this week, the rest of this week, since I'm a little behind on the horoscopes. <clears throat> Let's get clear. May the right Gemini get the right messages at the right time for the spirit. May it be clear and precise. All right, y'all. <laughs> Excuse me. Now, don't forget to do all the YouTube thingies. Subscribe, like, share. And if this resonates, please hashtag resonate in the comments below for a chance to win a private reading with me, okay? Now, normally I would do you versus them, a love update. But I am going to just focus on your energy and let's just see what comes up, whether it be money, whether it be career, school, family, romance. Okay, all right, so let's start. This is for Gemini. Let's look into your current energies right now. What is going on with Gemini? Please hear it currently. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry, y'all. Thank you. This is for Gemini. What is going on with Gemini's currently, please, Spirit? Gemini's currently, currently just for Gemini. Three cards, please. What is currently going on with Gemini's? We have the Ace of Swords. More current energies for Gemini. The Page of Cups. And the Will of Fortune. Okay. We have on the bottom the Six of Cups. Okay. Now. <clears throat> this just by looking at the cards without getting any kind of clarity I feel like ooh, this is really passionate okay whatever this is what that you've got going on you definitely it has ignited the spark in you okay I do have the Page of Cups, so I, I feel like this is definitely probably towards your emotions, towards some sort of relationship with someone, okay? We will check to see with clarity what type of relationship, but I feel like, yeah, see, even with the Wheel of Fortune, look, folks, look at that monkey blindfolded. Okay, it's like you're going to finally jump off that wheel, take a chance on something, and you're either going to send some messages towards someone, or someone's going to send some towards you. Someone has had that aha moment with this Ace of Swords. Okay, look at this fire. That lets me know that this is burning in your soul. This is very passionate, okay? A deep connection here. And wow, look at this fire. It is shaped like maybe a wolf or a dog. Okay, so it's almost like you're holding yourself back or you have been. 
and you're about to give in. Just like with this monkey. Okay? You're going to take that blindfold off and jump off. Even with the snake underneath the monkey there. Okay, that's fears. This is a fear of something and it's held you back from sending these messages of love to someone. And more than likely, with the Six of Cups, this is either someone from your past or this could be, you know, family. Most of the time, this is a relationship. Also, it could be maybe if you have children, so the mamas or the daddies. Okay, so let's get some clarity. I'm going to get clarity with, let's get this deck. Right, this is for Gemini. Current energies for Gemini, please, Spirit. Why is the Ace of Swords here for Gemini? The current. Why is the Ace of Swords here for Gemini? Why is the Ace of Swords here? Way too many. <clears throat> Indecision. All right. Here is the Two of Lightning. That is planning. This is like the Two of Wands. Okay. Um. We have the three of lightning. That is wanting something more from someone or a situation. Okay. This is you preparing for that journey. This also has been known to be very unexpected. Okay. Let's get one more for the ace of swords for Gemini. We have two more, actually. All right. We have the Eight of Cups. It says the Eight of Raindrops, okay, with the Emperor. And then on the bottom is Master of Raindrops, okay? This is like the King of Cups on the bottom. So you could very well be indecisive, okay, or in the past at least, Hmm. Planning. I heard planning. So you know what? You may actually be caught in a third party with potential Aries since the emperor and potential water with this cups. I feel like um for some of you guys I'm I'm spot on. I feel like um you guys are finally, that would, the three of wands there, that journey. So I feel like um, you've been afraid to take that leap or make that decision. And I feel like you, you have finally, in your current energy, you've, you've finally made that decision. Okay. Now, this also could be, you know, making a decision with some other aspect in life. <clears throat> but. I, I really feel like this is. To do with. Between two people. Alright let's see. Why is the page of cups here? Why is the page of cups in Gemini's current energy? Why is the page of cups? <laughs> Excuse me. I just noticed this is a well, I, I've had it for quite a while, but I've just recently started using it. <clears throat> I've never noticed, and I have never seen a page of cups this way. You guys know, just as well as I know, well, for y'all that get readings a lot, or if you're a reader yourself, Page of Cups is usually, you know, messages of love, right? Look at this Page of Cups closely. I think I <clears throat> hadn't noticed it because this woman's boob is hanging out. 
And I've never been one to really watch porn or anything like that. So it was probably because of that. Because like when I looked down at her boob, I just happened to look up at her head and there's another man there. So in this page of cups, do you see this? There's a woman and two men. So definitely feeling this third party here. All right. So we have the chariot. Like I said, you could be dealing with that water sign, potential cancer. Ooh, ooh, ooh. All right, y'all. Ooh, man. Sometimes hashtag resonate. All right. Well, the Eight of Cups. No, I'm sorry. This is the Eight of Swords. Okay. That is um, like playing the victim. Okay. Eight of Swords can also be walking away. Eight of Swords can also be um, And that's exactly what you've done. With this Eight of Swords, you have um, self-sabotaged and blocked your own happiness. And you know you've had you you know you have to make a decision. All right. We have the judgment here. The thing is with this judgment. Well, let me tell you about the judgment in a moment. I'll, we have the devil, and we have the apprentice of raindrops. Okay. This is. The Knight of Cups here. Now, you have you're making a decision, and there's finally movement. Okay, we went from the page to the Knight. All right, with this Devil. All right, this there's been that restriction. There's been whatever there is that's toxic. Okay, you have made up your mind. I feel like um, with this Judgment card. It's a good thing because we cannot avoid the judgment. Um, when we have the judgment, it is something that we just can't avoid. That means it's God's will. Okay. So you are definitely, because if you don't make a decision, then God's going to do it his way. Okay. Now. Let's get some clarity for this Wheel of Fortune. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here for Gemini? Why is the Wheel of Fortune here for Gemini? We have the Three of Raindrops, which is Three of Cups. And we have the Ace of Raindrops, which is Ace of Cups. On the bottom, the Oracle of Lightning. Okay, this is Determination. Uh, wow, you guys, even underneath that is the strength, okay, so you guys are going in with a lot of compassion, a lot of courage, um, you're, you're, you're focused now, okay, you're going in with this unconditional offer of love, if this isn't you going towards someone, then you better be careful, because someone's headed right towards you, <laughs> all right, now, with this three of cups, obviously, this is celebration, potentially, or this could also be a social media card for myself, okay? So, you could be reaching out to somebody through Messenger, or through Facebook, through Instagram, or Snapchat, whatever it is. Now, let's go ahead and move on to see what is coming from now through this weekend, okay? Now, if this has not happened yet, this should be either the recent past or the near future, okay? What we just went over. This is like, that's like that current energy, okay? Now we're going towards the weekend, from now through the weekend for Gemini. What is coming towards Gemini now through this weekend for spirits that they need to know? 
One is coming towards Gemini. And now, through the weekend for spirit, we have clear and precise to mind. Put you in the last shuffle. We have the moon. We have the queen of swords. We have the emperor. The lovers. And judgment. We literally just got the same cards. The page of swords. That is my drama card. Um, we'll get clarity for these as well. First card, actually these two came out together, okay? We have the moon and the queen of swords. All right. So, with these falling out together, this is your fears, okay, of cutting someone out. Then we have the emperor. You know, you have to take control of this situation. Make a decision with the judgment card. But look at this. It's almost like once you make a decision, look how free you look. Okay. And I do feel like this is a so contract with somebody. This is a soulmate card here, but this also represents choices that you have to make, and we should always choose love. Okay, like I said on the bottom is my drama queen, so I do feel like there may be a little drama behind it, but as I've already mentioned, I feel like this is Something that I know that you've got courage and passion and compassion even. This is something that you've hoped for. Here's the star. Oh, my goodness. Something you've manifested. Here's the magician. Okay. You've really, this week and this weekend, you've really looked at things totally different. Okay, let's get the clarity for these cards just to make sure that they align. Or if you can get any more tea, then we will most definitely try. All right, why is the moon and the queen of swords here? Why did those come out, please? Now, clarity for the moon and queen of swords for Gemini. We have the will of fortune, that cycle, the fear of a new cycle beginning, okay? Why is the emperor here for Gemini? Why is the emperor here for Gemini? We have the hierarchy. I feel like for some of you guys, especially now that the Hirons came out, I feel like you guys are very much on the same energy level as like um, the Empress and Emperor. I do feel like for some of you guys, you do have children together. Why is judgment here for Gemini? The five of lightning, competition, that judgment, and then competition. You have to make a decision <coughs> between the competition, do you see? Either way, there's someone that's going to be feeling left out. Someone that's going to feel that hurt, that defeat, that loss, okay? You cannot avoid that, but you have to put your happiness Above theirs. 
Okay, why is the lovers here? Why is the lovers here for Gemini? We have the nine of clouds, which is the nine of wands, okay? No, I'm sorry, it's the nine of swords, okay? Because this is the anxiety. And then we have the fool, okay? You're having anxiety for taking that leap of faith. Do not be inside your head about this and stress because you do have a habit of blocking your own blessings, okay? So do not self-sabotage. Be very mindful of your thoughts and actions and words. Let's see. Let's get a couple of these. And then we'll get your angel number. What does Gemini need to hear from now through the weekend? What do they need to hear about? Some clarity, guidance, and messages, please. Obstacles and challenges. Fulfillment and wishes. This is sticking out. It says partnerships and alliances. And then on the bottom, love begins. Again, we have the devil to show up underneath that. So I feel like you are definitely leaving some sort of toxic or some sort of temptation. Okay. And going closer to the divine path. Let's get your angel number. What does Gemini need to see, please, Spirit? What angel number do they need to see between now and this weekend? What angel number? Okay, we have two, 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 two. Build and create. Now is the time to father. I'm sorry. Build and create. Now is the time to rather. Oh my gosh. I can't read my own writing. Oh. I need to put apostrophe. <laughs> it says build and create y'all. Now is the time to do. Rather than talk. So. Less this, more action. <laughs> and then it says, have faith. Your dreams and plans have a real future. If you go forward now. So, definitely would be going, you would definitely be going towards the divine path by choosing this new person. Or if this is someone from your past even. Okay. It says, you are receiving divine guidance. I literally just felt the spirit because I just said that. You are receiving divine guidance and reassurance on your path. Okay? You are, you are definitely on your life path journey. Okay, or fixing to begin it. Okay, you guys, don't forget, give me a thumbs up, hashtag resonate if this does. Love one another, be kind to one another, and I'll see you next time. Bye.